By the end of this video, you will know what a password spraying attack is. But first, here is the rule of thumb. You should never use applications that store passwords in plain text format. If they fall into the wrong hands, your accounts will be exposed. This is where hashing comes in. Hashing is different from encryption, simply because you can always decrypt the text back to its original format. Unlike hashing, which turns plain text into a unique code that cannot be reverted back into a readable format. A brute force password attack is one of the most common techniques used by hackers to log into accounts. A brute force attack will try all possible combinations of letters, numbers, and characters in order to guess the right password until there is a hash match. The downside of using a brute force attack strategy is the possibility of getting locked out of an account for trying too many passwords. So, another method used by hackers is a password spraying attack. Instead of getting locked out of an account or getting a silent alarm triggered, a malicious hacker will try the same common passwords on multiple accounts, like 12345, the word password, and so on. If these passwords work for the attacker, then they have achieved their goal and executed an account takeover. If not, the attacker moves on to the next account to repeat the same process. Creating a strong password is necessary to avoid any password cracking attempts. This is why you should always consider using a password manager. And in the most unlikely event that your password is known, ensure that you activate multi-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.